<laughs> Before I even introduce anyone in the studio, Oreku, can we laugh? <laughs> it's a very blue day. <laughs> can, we very, just, can, blue, we just, can we just decide to a laugh blue together? Weekend. <laughs> the rain is raining, everything is calm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's a beautiful day, and we're looking at why some people have always dreaded the month of April. It looks like a particular club was cursed, and the person who cursed them was born in April. Because how many times have we sat in the studio and discussed how Arsenal will always bottle it in the month of April? You know, even when they were at their loudest, we knew which month they will crumble. <laughs> You know, just a few days ago in the three sports office, some of them were very loud. Oh, Aston Villa. Oh, oh, Bayern Munich. What a week. Good evening, gentlemen, once again. Uh, Oreoku, you've already heard his voice. Bill Ashan is also here with me. Bill? I, I, Bill, good evening. Can you talk? Do you have the voice? Okay. So for those of you who are tuning on Facebook at three sports GH, you can uh, read the sign language. Because Bill doesn't have the voice. I don't, I don't know what he's doing on radio anyway. Yeah, Fosul Abi is also here with me. Yeah, good yeah. evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. You must be buoyant. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. a very happy Sunday. Uh, I mean, I wanted us not to win the league, but it looks like they can't. So I'm, now I'm against them again. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy about okay. it. And also, Oriku's prediction for Liverpool is inside the water. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Deliver flesh <laughs> from nature go. <laughs> Still, we haven't had Bill's voice. Anyway, my producer tells me that we need to be uh, sensitive and so a minute silence for us now. And we are back. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, can we hear your voice now? Hey! Oh! <laughs> the guy wants to destroy the microphone. Who has contact to Pantaindo? Because we have a few new cases in TV3. Uh, uh, on, on the premises of Media General, uh, we, have, we have a few new cases. Bill. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. We just had one job. One job. Yeah, one one job. job. Sometimes a job, that one job can be so difficult. Uh, what job was that, though? Beat Aston Villa at the Emirates. Beat them at the Emirates. Oh, oh at the Emirates? At the Emirates. Beat Ooh. them. Ooh. This game happened at the Emirates? Oh, my what, God. What was the result, please? Theory. We are here to educate theory. and to inform. Theory. 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 We are here to inform theory. and educate. See. See. What, what was the result? Arsenal, Aston Villa. What happened, please? The result is important. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only important thing is to, is to say that mm. congratulations, Manchester mm. City, mm. for winning the mm. league once again. Mm. 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 Congratulations, mm. Bayern Munich, for mm. reaching the semi-finals mm. of the Champions mm. League. Mm. 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 You're out. See, mm. Mm. after what I just saw, mm -hmm. you have no chance. Mm. Again. While you were talking, I could, I could tell the, 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 the you know, the, the, the spirit was charged. Oh this place was charged, charged. Thank oh God. But um, we'll, we'll come back to the Premier We want you to suffer inside a little bit before you vent. You understand? So we'll come back because for now... <laughs> Charlie, we, we, we can't be in this. <laughs> we can't be in this. Ooh. Okay, so we go straight to um, the Ghana Premier League because we have uh, our colleague Kelvin Ousu Ansa who is also um, crying on both ends. <laughs> Kelvin, good evening and welcome to Sports Ultras. How is Bill? Um, everything is fine. Um, just a bit of a way for Kotoko fans. Joy for dreams. Um, some set are set for the Kotoko management. Be, be, before you move on, before you move on, Kelvin, I know, I know you're onto something serious, but before you move on, you said it's joy for dreams. How about joy for Aston Villa as well? Joy for who? Aston Villa. Yeah, they defeated Arsenal by two goals. Another. I didn't ask for a much report from you about Arsenal. I'm asking about the joy for Aston Villa, please. Joy for Aston Villa. Yes, they've beaten us now, so definitely they should be happy. Oh, how do you feel about that? How do I? How do you, you suddenly cannot hear me. How do you feel about that, Kelvin? Uh, I, feel, I feel extremely normal. I, was, I said this 
I can't let signs before. Kelvin, let, let's go to let's go to dreams. Let's go to dreams and Kotoko. I don't like your right. response. Let's go to dreams and Kotoko. Okay. <laughs> so, you were giving us a match report on what happened, dreams and Kotoko. Kotoko now languishing on 11th. What happened? Well, I think um, it's the same issues all on all over and over again. Um, right from the start of the season, you could say for Swana Delco wanted to play in a style to suit Kalo Atara, more of like go to the flank, cross the ball, and then they try to nod it home. But it's not the greatest area of threat you would want to see in any team. And that, was, that has been exactly how they, they, they want to play. Without Richmond Lampe, the team fails to play any productive football and it was evident today that the, the team lacked somebody who could carry the ball and create proper goal scoring opportunities for them. Dreams took advantage of that. The loopholes and the stones in fact and the connect in Kotoko's defense. They capitalized on those loose heads and one unfortunate deflection got them the opener. They calmed the game, making sure Kotoko had very little of the ball and anything that Kotoko had the ball, a hard press about Kotoko, you know, very well conducted side with very good material that resonate in any game to give very good passes for the attack line. So that, that, that's the difference between Dreams and Kotoko. And I think the experience of playing in Africa do has helped me. The players were calm on the ball. They weren't afraid of the Kotoko team. The experience from John N.C. counted. The second half, when he was even off, the first SO who had returned came on and then he really controlled the game well in the attacking line for Dreams. They will run away with uh, two goalies. For the last four games that they played against Kotoko, Kotoko has failed to even put a goal uh, in their net, and it clearly gives an indication of how, you know, uh, progressive they be when it comes to playing the games for the Ghana Premier League and in Africa. But what, what, what does this mean for Kotoko, and especially for Prosper Ogun? Because, I mean, a club as huge as Kotoko, in the position they are at this point in the season, something must give, Kelvin. Hello, Kelvin. Are you still on the line, please? Okay, looks like we lost Kelvin there. And he was just giving us updates from Dewu about the game uh, between Dreams FC and uh, Kumasi Asante Kotoko. But the guys in the studio can do justice to some of the questions. Oriku, I'll come to you. Bill is still recovering, so I'll come to you first. Um, what exactly does this mean for Prosper Ogum? Well, you know, the, the Kotoko story is a bit funny because uh, if, if you're being objective on the whole issue... He is he's gone past a point beyond sack. I think it gets to a certain level where you don't even need a board or leadership to tell you that your your time at the club is over. You can do the honorable thing of sometimes acknowledging that this situation has gone beyond my my ability to be able to solve and then you walk away. But unfortunately, there's still that feeling that he can turn things around. And you're looking at a Kotoko side that if the league started in 2024, would be bottom. Mm -hmm. They have just one win the yeah. whole year. Yeah. They have the worst home record in the league. I could go on and on and on, but these are statistics that you never at a point want to be associated exactly. with a club like Asante Kotoko. This is a team that was the club considered the club of the century in the 20th century, considering all that they achieved in Africa and then on the domestic scene. This was a team that there was a point where before a ball was kicked, we all knew they were going to win the league. For the standards to drop this low mm -hmm. and the fact that there's been no reaction, that, I, I think that's the bigger shock for me because I do understand that big clubs can have bad periods. Sometimes they do extend beyond the normal. But what big clubs always do is that there's always a reaction. There's always some feeling, some pressure to change something. But for Kotoko, I don't know, I don't know for how long. Maybe the guys in the studio can help me. But you're looking at this Kotoko side who at the moment are much closer to the relegation zone than to the title race. And 
it just looks like a side that's getting worse and worse and worse. And unfortunately for Kotoko, Prosper Natiogum, in the rebuilding of the team's management, was placed as part of the IMC. And so technically, he's part of the decision makers of the club. So that gives him some amount of power because he's also part of the people who would decide which coach they want to bring and whether they want to sack the coach. So Kotoko at this point, honestly, it's, it's a bit embarrassing. And it's a difficult time to be a fan because if you're losing away and you're losing at home too, mm-hmm. it's only catastrophe that awaits you. And just like last season, how we, when we saw how to folk, almost go on relegation. Remember the coach that was, was, was in charge of Hearts when they almost went on relegation? David Oklu. Guess who is Prosper's assistant coach now? And that's the press conferences. David Oklu. <laughs> and Kotoko are dipping is, is again, it, is getting it, close to the relegation. It's the same, it's the same Oklu that knows how to turn things around at Hearts of Folk when things... <laughs> you know, he's an expert of interim, um, interim basis. Yeah, so may, maybe Kotoko should find a way to put him there. You know, the, you never you, know. You know the, the truth is that this, this is beyond accept. It's, it, it, in <laughs> no world should any Kotoko fan accept this. Yeah. Because essentially what this means is that since they're out of the FA Cup, and won't finish anywhere near the top two in the league or first or whatever. The league title is basically away from them. Mm-hmm. It means that next season, Kotoko won't play in Africa again. Imagine any big club in the world, though, for two straight seasons, you're not playing continental football. And you put yourself with quote and quote, you're, you're rebuilding the team. Rebuilding to what? Rebuilding and you get worse? Because last season, at least, they were much closer to the title race. Yeah. And had an honorable finish, even though they did not qualify, they could sniff the title for, for the longest of time mm-hmm. in the whole league season. Mm-hmm. But this time around, they, they were out even with 10 12 matches to go. And now is the case of can they even keep their status in the Ghana Premier League? Because if they continue with the form that they've been in 2024, there is the likelihood that they could be engaged in a relegation battle come, come May when the league ends. And I think this is unpardonable. Yeah, at what point does it end? I mean, at what point does <clears throat> Kotoko decide to take a decision on Ogun, really? Um, so, I, I think that um, usually when teams get to this point mm-hmm. where they say that um, we've chopped and changed so much, so let's stick with this guy. Yeah. Um, I feel like it gets to a point where, where does the trust come from, really? I mean, mm-hmm. if, if you're Kotoko and you lose, yeah. you lose um, <clears throat> or you've not won in eight games, that is terrible for Yeah. Me. And I hear a lot of Kotoko fans say that they are the the Real Madrid of Ghana mm-hmm. and all of that. Do any of the Kotoko fans mm-hmm. think that Real Madrid would go eight games without winning yeah. and keep their manager? Yeah. It won't happen. Never. It will never, ever happen. No matter who the manager is. No, man, no matter who the manager and, and, is. And that's what shocks me. Yeah. Has, you know, we usually will talk about a manager um, building up a bit of um, cushion. For himself, yeah. what has Ogum done in Ghana football? Yeah, this that's way? the thing. I mean, the, the, the thing, the only thing Ogum can rely on is the Premier League title he won, he won. with Otasante really? Kotoko. But so many managers but, have come to but it is not enough. Yeah, at this point, it is not yeah. enough. The last time Kotoko were in this position was way back in 2016, yeah. when David Duncan was manager, and over that period. David Duncan was sacked just like that. Yeah. He was actually locked out of the training the, 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 the training pitch. He, yeah. he came to he came for training. The fans said no. Mm-hmm. You're not, you not training our players today. Then he sat there alone. The players didn't show up for training. So the thing is that, does it mean that in 2016, Kotoko fans were more ambitious than they are now? Does it mean that... Mm-hmm. Like, what does it mean for Kotoko now? I, I'm, I'm just thinking. Mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not saying that what they did in 2016 was the right thing to do. Yeah, of course. But now you still hear people say that, mm-hmm. you know, Ogum can do it. Let's just give Ogum time. But this is eight games with no win. Three points away from relegation. One win in 2024. How, exactly. How do you explain this? How do you explain this to anybody who is a Kotoko fan? I'm sure all the, all the former Kotoko players, the legends, Wuba Fosin Fum is probably so angry yeah. at what Kotoko has become now. The excuses are just too many. too many. Ogum just needs to do the honorable thing. It is not working. Sometimes when you see that it's not working, mm-hmm. just make sure that you just let it go. Because look, they have three matches. Now they've lost against Dreams. Their next two matches are against Samatex and Mediama. Are you winning those games? It doesn't <laughs> look likely. <coughs> so I'll still stay on you. Yeah. So you know we're talking about the ambition of the, of the players. Yeah. What about the ambition of, the, of those at the top? So, so you see that the, the thing about Kotoko is that um, yeah, Kotoko is still you know, a very traditional club. Yeah. It's still run by the king yeah. uh, of Asante. And so usually there are issues around 
that side of things that you can't particularly you know talk about must he be the one deciding who stays and who goes as coach i mean in in he's the, a king he, yeah i mean he 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 decides yeah. that you know so the thing is that has that helped Kotoko over the years mm. football has changed it yeah. has evolved over a period has that helped Kotoko? it hasn't helped yeah. so what then do you do from now because the thing is last season when he took when he was looking through Kotoko's uh he was looking through finances and all of that. Yeah. He, he said it. He said, And yeah. it's, it's true. Yeah. It's true. Kotoko is the only thing around um, uh, Otunfo's kingship that looks like it's not going particularly well. And that needs serious fixing. And so I feel like something needs to be done around it. Look, the thing about Kotoko now is that Ogum is not working. Mm -hmm. the, there's, a, there's a general disarray around the club and just how things have been organized and things have been managed. And I really hope that it changes. Because like I say here every single day, even yesterday, Aminu Shadow admitted to it mm -hmm. that if Kotoko does well, mm -hmm. the league gets better because they command a huge fan of base course. across the country. Of course. And so, for instance, today, if Kotoko were in the title race, Today at Dau, the stadium would have been overflowing because there would have been Kotoko fans who would have traveled from here mm -hmm. to go to Dau to watch Kotoko because Kotoko are still mm -hmm. in contention to win the title. Now Kotoko are not doing too well. They are doing so poorly. Hearts have overtaken them on the league and all of that. All of these things needs a bit of uh, a bit of insights. They need to try to look into things properly to see what they can do to try to salvage what Kotoko has become. Yeah. As for Ogun, the best thing for him to do now is to just say, I'm done. I feel like maybe I can't do the job anymore, so let me walk out of it. Because how do you pick up a team after eight games without a win? A team of the stature of Kotoko. This is not uh, uh, any of the smaller clubs we are talking yeah. about. This is Asante Kotoko eight games without a win and then the coach is still there because there's belief that he's going to do it i mean how <laughs> it's, not, it's shocking bill i'll come to you now hopefully you found your voice to talk about another struggling club and not mind your business but let's see you attempt it yeah i mean it's it's shocking it's shocking um for a team that won the league just two seasons ago yeah to fall the way the falling it's it's really shocking. I, I I can't really fathom. To I don't remember seeing a club of this caliber go eight games without winning. It's really unheard of. It's something that would we, would we'll, we'll be seen as a disaster, a scandal. I mean, heads will roll by now, but uh, but still, we we are seeing Prosper Ogum still at post. I should I should ex like the expectation is right after the final whistle. You tell him Ogum pack your bags you are not coming back to the club again we don't want to see you mm -hmm. but I, I saw like some footage of Kotoko fans saying oh let's still support Ogum let's still support Ogum um, he can he can turn things around he can do it. it it feels like they are trying to embrace mediocrity at this point because no serious club would would allow that you mean Kotoko are not serious I mean the fa the fans who are backing Ogum at this point are not serious mm. that's what I think I mean, let's play the devil's advocate. Do you think there's 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 any positive in there when you look when you look at not, maybe not just the results, but the running of the club, especially with Ogum at the helm? Do you, do you think there are any 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 there's any silver lining in there that points to glory at the end? Maybe they are seeing something you're not seeing. Have um, you have you thought of that as well? Do you think that's possible? Well, there's also that, but here's here's the case. Ogum when he came initially mm -hmm. right in the second stint mm -hmm. he went on a head-to-head -head battle with senior players calling them politicians mm. that's not how you start that's not how you start when you start going against the s senior players of the team you are trying to cause a very big friction that yeah. you cannot recover from and especially if the team is not doing well it becomes a huge problem this thing will resurface again about senior players not not being committed enough and all of that and then pushing blame back it's not it's not it's not going to be healthy yeah, and, and, and you see, I, I think that be. i think that generally you know the way ogum himself has handled has handled some of these things mm -hmm. 
hasn't been the best. Okay. You know, the thing is that if you know you're managing Kotoko and you yeah. know the stature of the club you're managing, you know how demanding the fans are. Yeah. You don't try to go head to head with the fans. Yeah. You know, the, the, the idea... His press conferences are terrible to listen to. Press conferences yeah. are, are poor to listen to. The the interviews he willingly granted to radio oh, stations yeah. in Kumasi yeah, were, yeah. were very distasteful. I felt like there were things that he particularly should have... Because, you know, Ogum said things like, do you know the clubs that wanted me? And I decided, yeah, why yeah. didn't you go to why those clubs? You, you should have gone. Yeah, it's that simple. And, and now that things are not going well, why won't yeah. you resign and go? Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you're saying you have, a, yeah. you have jobs that... That that you yeah. you 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 left to come and yeah. manage Kotoko, leave the job now. Now yeah. things are not going well. Leave it and go to that club and let's see. Yeah. So I feel like that's no because what job in this country is bigger than Kotoko anyway? Yeah, of course. In in, in Ghanaian club football, <laughs> there, yeah, what job isn't. is bigger than the yeah. Kotoko yeah. job? There's no job. Yeah. And so don't don't come and be saying these things, thinking that the fans will let you off the hook so easily, or even the players who are listening to you from wherever they are will let you off the hook so easily and rally behind you because uh, they play for Kotoko and all of that. Trust me, the thing is, look, there could be some player power in there. There could be uh, yeah. certain players who have intentionally down tools, yeah. whatever it is. But there just needs to be some insight into what's happening at Kotoko at the moment. I've heard a lot of people say so many things. And uh, the players went to drink. The players are sleeping with women, whatever. Look, all of those things do not do anything at this point. Putting the players under the bus mm. will not do anything. Yeah. Ogum cannot step on the field and play the football. It is the players who play the football. Yeah. There's no club in this world that has sacked 11 players or has sacked 20 players yeah. and kept a coach. Yeah. It hasn't yeah. happened before. Yeah. And it won't happen with Ogum. So Kotoko just needs to do what will be good for the club at this moment. At this point, the, e this, the, the easy option the, is to yeah, let the coach go. The easy option yeah, is to yeah. let the coach go and try to, you know plan properly yeah. for what will be next in, in you know for the club and all of that L like i said it doesn't look like they're going to win the next two matches they've yeah. lost dreams there's yeah. summer text there's mediama yeah. Yeah. how are you going to win these games if you can't beat almost impossible Set exactly be it's almost impossible yeah and uh, looking back uh, there was a vox pop including uh, some fans of kotoko one mm. one of them mentioned that uh, the players have been um more or less caged in a way that even their haircuts <laughs> have to be on. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? Yeah, like a, like a military kind of rule. <laughs> why, would, why wouldn't they down to I mean, that, that isn't discipline, is it? I mean... No, it's not. Um, it's I not. Mean, having, having a prescribed haircut in a football team. No, no, I've, no. I've, I've, I've never come across I think anyway. I think for, for youth teams, you can yeah. do that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, for yeah, teams, yeah. but for senior teams, uh, no. it's, it gets yeah. difficult. You, you can't say David Beckham has lost his form and should cut his hair. Yeah. 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 <laughs> or, fake, or, fake or, I mean, like, or for instance, let, let's say... Um, uh, a coach comes into the Black Stars and says, uh, Edmondado, go and cut your hair. Or, Edmond, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, I mean, quickly I'll run through what the results are and then we'll just touch on some of the other results before we move on from the Ghana Premier League and then also before that I'll actually run you by the standings as it is. So let's look at um, how it started on, actually it was um, yesterday. Hearts of Folk beating Carolina United by three goals to one. And then um, Samatex also beating Brekum Chelsea by three goals to two. We'll talk about Samatex in a bit. In such a man also drew one all with Accra Great Olympics. Nations FC drew 2-2 with Bofua Tano. Mediama Sporting Club beat Legon Cities by a goal to nail. Vichem United also beating Real Tamale United by three goals to two. And then Ediana Stars also winning against Hearts of Lions at home by a goal to nail. We didn't have any home casualty. West is a draw for Nations FC and such a man. Everybody else won at home. So let's touch on Hearts of Folk. Hearts of Folk bouncing back to victory um, against Karela United. And as we know, it is actually the first victory over Karela since they started meeting. Yeah, it's good for them. I mean... <laughs> Abubakar uh, Watara was being called a fraud at some point. <laughs> um, someone, who came, <laughs> someone who came and, you know, got a good run of results and then it all went sideways. I mean, losing like three games in a row. But seeing Haas bounce back and then getting a win over Karela is a good one. Mm. Um, hopefully they can push on from there. I think Hamza Isa stepping up to, to the plate once again. Great, 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 great return for him. He's now, I believe, the top scorer of the Ghana Premier League with 11 goals. Um, hopefully he can push on and then, you know, uh, win the 
the Golden Boots by the end of the season. Uh, but I mean, still, it, th- there's still that question on how to fool because they've also dropped significantly in the Ghana Premier League. I mean, since winning the title in the 2020-21 season under uh, Samuel Boudou. And there's not a good look to see that two of Ghana's biggest clubs are now mid-table teams mm. in, in the competition. I mean, because... Are they mid-table? Actually, they are below mid-table. <laughs> <are below, laughs> even below mid-table. <laughs> even below mid-table. Yeah. Um, because supposedly they have more resources, more fans. They pay their players better. In quotes. In quotes. So I think seeing that is not so encouraging. Um, I mean, we, we've, we've seen what has happened with Hart having to do a shake-up on the top and all of that. I hope it trickles down to, to the bottom side where we see uh, good shake-ups uh, regards to recruitment and all of that to get a club to where it belongs uh, maybe next season. It looks like this season they have to, you know, resign themselves to below mid-table and bounce back next season, you know, better. But, I mean, it's good to get back to winning ways after losing three games in a row. Mm-hmm. At least it's not, it's, it's not as bad as Kotoko, so <laughs> you yeah. take it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so, um, still on hearts, though, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, they won now. Um, mm. It's the first time they're winning against Karela. Um, and also bouncing back. It's a flash in the pan. Oh, uh, sir. Yeah, it's a flash in the pan. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, only thing about, the only thing about Hearts is that at least they can manage uh, a win in four games. Yeah. And, and, and Kotoko cannot. 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 Yeah. yeah. So, 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 so they look like, they, look like yeah. they, they, they have a bit of... Uh, yeah. I mean, it's inconsistent, but, but the inconsistency is not so bad. Uh, so Hearts of Oak... Um, I really just hope that they are, they are able to get into respectable positions uh, at the moment because um, from where they are on the league log is not, is not the best. I mean, and like I said about Kotoko, it's the same thing I would always say about Hearts. If Hearts do well in the league, they command that level of fandom yeah. everywhere in the country. Yeah. And so the league really needs teams like Hearts and Kotoko to do well uh, to, to, to get themselves to a certain level. Mm. And it is funny because uh, I'm thinking that for everything dreams have done this season, mm-hmm. uh, you know, get to the quarterfinal of the, uh, to get to the semifinal of the Confederations Cup, and then the idea that there will be four Ghanaian teams in uh, CAF competitions next year, and there won't be Kotoko or Hearts, is very shocking yeah. for me because then would they be able to make those places where they would comfortably say that oh, uh, we are going to play in Africa or something? It looks like it's not going to happen, and and all of that is is, is worrying really. For Hearts, I really just hope that, you know, just like Kotoko, they are able to regain their form. For I mean, I don't know how it's going to happen, but if it happens, I'll be really they must happy. Find a way. They must find a way to make it happen. Because um, there's no... I mean, it, uh, let, let me just reference Amate Edu, who says there's no sweetness here. <laughs> uh, so there's no sweetness uh, in Hearts or Kotoko. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No sweetness. That's actually the opposite of what we jammed to in 2010. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Oreku, there is Hearts, there is Kotoko. Which one do you want to touch on? Um, you know, I think Hearts of Folk have done fairly better. Mm. And especially since Watara came. I didn't expect him to hit the ground running when when he joined Hearts of Folk mid-season. Mm-hmm. But if you're, if you're looking at Hearts of Folk, since he came, if you're looking at the form table, let's say the past 10 matches... <laughs> How to folk have 17 points. And I know that's not the highest of tallies because available points is 30. But picking up 17 points actually puts them fourth in the form table in that period. And so essentially, there are only three points off the top, Nations FC. And I think mm-hmm. Mediama and a couple other clubs have is 20 it, points. Is it, is it to show the league now, actually? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what, that, the, the, the level is very low. Yeah. But with what Hearts are doing, even though they've gone three matches without winning, if you're looking at the past 10 matches since Watara joined, there has been some fairly high level of consistency. Okay. Yep. In the sense that if the league started when he came, around 10 games ago, mm-hmm. he would be in the top four. Yeah. Interestingly, if the league started 10, ago, um, 10 games ago, Kotoko will be bottom. And so it just shows the disparity in form uh, with these two sides. I think hearts are work in progress. That's one thing that a what lot a of people... Chance. Look at that. <laughs> no, just no, yeah, tell wow. me, look at this. That, wow. that, was, that was a chance wow. missed by a heart of folk forward. Sometimes you wonder. And 
Oh, come on. Uh, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, oh. what? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine you went on to lose yeah. this. Yeah, but I just, I just think for Heart of Hook, we've all acknowledged that their, their work in progress. Last season was extremely rough for them. Had to wait uh, for about two more games to confirm their status in the Ghana Premier League. Mm-hmm. Probably the lowest levels that they've reached in the past few years. But that, in a sense, showed the amount of work that had to be done. Sports Ultra. But we didn't see a lot of that in the, in the off season. We didn't see a lot of investment. We didn't see a lot of decisiveness. Interestingly, a lot of what you would expect the club to do was actually done during the season hey. when they got, <laughs> they got a new coach, they brought in signings, and then they got a new management, you know, new board and all that. These are things that I thought they could have done on off season, especially after that disastrous campaign last time out. But they waited for this this long, and I think Watara is a good side. He's a good coach. He will probably do better when he has more time with the players, and he's able to sign some players for himself as well. the The big question has always been consistency when it comes to these two clubs, and I think. That's what they should be doing better than when it comes to Kotoko and Hart. They have enough resources to get a top-level coach and pay him and actually keep him. Unlike the smaller clubs that would have that temptation of, oh, their coach wants to go and work elsewhere yeah. because there's bigger opportunities elsewhere. There aren't many bigger opportunities than Hart and Kotoko. So you would expect Watara to at least get some consistency here, get to know his team, and then you see what, how far he can build the team next season. But I think so far, so good. The signs have been good. Even on the matches that they've lost, once again, the problem has been the players and their finishing, which I think would improve over... I mean, uh, for everybody involved in the league, is as follows. Samatex are top with 49 points. Nations FC, 44 points. Idiana Stars are third with 42 points. Mediama Sporting Club are fourth with th- uh, 39 points. We have Vichem United in fifth with 38 points. And Sotraman in sixth with 38 points. Rukun Chelsea in seventh with 38 points. Accra Lions in eighth with 36 points. Bibiani Gold Stars are ninth with 35 points. Hearts of Folk are tenth with 35 points. Asante Kotoko are eleventh with uh, 33 points. Um, Great Olympics are 12 with 33 points as well. Legon Cities are 13th with 32 points. Dreams FC are 14th with 31 points. Bofakotano are 15th with 30 points. And then uh, Karela United have 30 points. They are in the drop zone. Hearts of, Hearts of Lions are also in the drop zone with 25 points. And then Real Tamale United also have Three 25 F-M. points. <laughs> So that's the Ghana Premier League for you. Case closed. Topic ended. Now straight to Bale. Bale is shocked he's a topic. Uh, You're on our stream. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh, Bill, God. Bill, 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 <laughs> Bill, please watch your stream. Oh, my God. This, 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 is a, this, is a, this is a video served, served very well by Alvo Oh, you very much my God. And I, and I, and I, I look, I mean, so, Bill, are, ah. these, are these Arsenal fans? They are really no. pretty, though. No, they're not. They're no, not asking for money. They are dancing. <laughs> <laughs> They seem to be celebrating with you very early. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, ah. wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. See, Ateta, you have blood on your hands. Ateta. Ateta is the Pitodochi of England. Hey, Ateta, you have blood on your hands. He's killed too many people. Hey. We love it. Hey. See, Ania last <laughs> Oh, Ania. <laughs> oh, why did they move back? Masa. Oh, Ania. Skip, hey. Uh. Can we? Hey, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's not fine. That's not available. <laughs> ah, this is the unavailable tune. <laughs> Liverpool, present, sir. Manchester City, present, sir. Aston Villa, present, sir. So why is you know, you know where I'm going, right? Why, why are you skipping? Arsenal, I want available. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, hey. right. Anyway, so if you just tune in, you are in for the fun part. Oh, God. We are done discussing misery. At this point in the show, it is misery for just one person in the studio. <laughs> Everybody else is delighted. Even for Yahoo who was supporting them earlier. He switched. We're porting the seminar. We're porting. Anyway, let me just run by you what the results have been 
this weekend. Is he forcing why, me? Why are, to- forcing? Why, are you, why are you talking with so much? Forcingly for me, I haven't played yet. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow we'll be there. Oh, there'll be no address tomorrow. <laughs> office hey, we'll be at the anyway office. anyway anyway um with a lot of sanity now we would run <laughs> through the results anyway so newcastle united decided to just pour a lot of water on spurs just to heat them up for the game oh against we like arsenal. it we like it to hit postagoglu up no. for the game against arsenal no. oh you know the fit as simple like if it's <laughs> spurs you go fit oh me i know sir i lose so newcastle finish. united beats spurs by four goals to zero oh, yeah, we like it uh, Nottingham Forest also drew 2-2 with Wolverhampton Wanderers. Manchester City reminded us all of why they are the team to beat in April and the month of May. 5-1 against Luton. Burnley 1, Brighton 1. Brentford 2, Sheffield United 0. And then Bournemouth 2, Manchester United 2. Let's get into it. And then today, the away teams decided to make it a day of their own. So Aston Villa traveled to the Emirates, 2-0. Fulham traveled to um, the Olympic Stadium, 2-0. Crystal Palace traveled to Anfield, 1-0. That reminds me, it means Liverpool have conceded five goals in two games at Anfield. I think four. Four. Sorry, four. Yeah. And lost all. Yeah. The two games. Yeah. Me feel it. Oh, Atalanta, we thank you. But it should have been it should have been City, man. Anyway, anyway, yeah. It should have been City. So um <coughs> Oroku and Yao. I don't know who wants to go first on this one. Why are you skipping me? Um you know on, <laughs> oh, on the why mi- misery me? is last. <laughs> misery is last, misery is last. <laughs> Oroku, let me hear you. I th- I think on the on the general title race, it's big opportunity miss for, you know the thing about when you have a rival like City, is that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. talk to me? About ideally, mm-hmm. it's normal to drop points. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with losing yeah, 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 yeah. A, an odd Sunday game. Yeah, you should be able to still win the league mm-hmm, mm-hmm. if you win your next or well, six. That's 18 Sports points, I believe. Mm-hmm. That plus um, 70, 71. you have 71, so yeah. that's about 89, 89 points. points. I'll win the league in yeah, plenty of the season. Yeah. But the second thing, Angelotti, yeah, 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 there's a monster who is chasing you, yeah. Who would most likely get 90 points. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So now the issue is that I just don't get why, for instance, Arsenal. Mm-hmm. Last weekend, you prayed for results to go your way. Mm. And then Liverpool, in fact, it goes as far back as this. Okay. Liverpool prayed a couple of weeks ago mm-hmm. when Manchester City faced Arsenal. The results will go their way. Mm-hmm. It went their way. Mm-hmm. The initiative came to Liverpool's hands. It didn't even last one week. Then Liverpool went to do what they did at Old Trafford. And now the initiative got back to Arsenal's hands. And just this weekend, now the two of them combined had decided to just move their... <laughs> yeah, it yeah, just, yeah, it should yeah. tell you how yeah. unserious these two yeah, yeah, teams yeah, 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 yeah. are. I like the word. You say they are what? Y- you're unserious. Ah, isn't that it, how you describe look, protocol? No, no, seriously. <laughs> seriously. For you to know, for you to know mm-hmm. that you have a team like City chasing you, mm. And Liverpool, you get an advantage. You don't even keep it for a week. You give it, and, and just look at the nature of the games. Manchester United, that first, Liverpool should have scored three. Yeah. Arsenal against Aston Villa, they should have scored more than Liverpool goal against that. Crystal Palace. They have scored five. Yeah, they are just not taking their yeah. chances. And yeah. it's not a case of oh, a, a bad day. We didn't play yeah. well. We didn't yeah. deserve. Yeah. Yeah. None of them yeah. have now played yeah. in yeah. any of the games yeah. where they dropped their yeah. points. Yeah. The thing is. City faced Aston Villa a week ago. Mm. What, what, they found what a way. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, a team oh, like Aston Villa, a, 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 a team like Villa, you have to oh, make, you, you need to score them early. Mm-hmm. Because you see, the moment you don't score them early, you empower them. You see how they came out in the second half? Yeah. Almost like a different animal. And, you know, I, I think at a 10, Klopp will look back at <laughs> this and say, we've made a huge error. Because now, you see, for Klopp, I don't even know what he was doing in the Europa League. What was the decision? Am I resting my players entirely? And focusing on the Premier League match against Palace, given that it was half a three-day gap to rest. Oh, he's going to win treble. <laughs> but you see, it's almost like he was <laughs> resting the players. He was, he was playing he was some win, of them. He wants to win treble. And then now it doesn't go well. The second half, you are so bringing so all your guns. About a month ago, it was the quadruple. Now it's then they won against Chelsea, and the quadruple was on. Then they lost to United in the FA Cup, right? <laughs> then became it became a treble. Now 
the way Atlanta lasts them, no. Right yeah. now, you're almost a double. Now, then oh, now, it's one. now it's one. Now it's one. Yeah, now it's one. 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 The Kalinka is okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that'd be all. Uh, uh, it, you it, talk that'd be all. You win something. Oh, I know. I know we win. <laughs> and you see, I know we. The, the problem that I have with the with the Premier League is that, in the end, if Man City win this league, yeah, it empowers them the most because I think out of the past four five. This is their worst yeah, ever yeah, yeah. performance. Actually, yeah. this is the worst. They haven't played well. Yeah. They've won just one game against what? Well, a couple of games against yeah, big six yeah, teams. Yeah. If you want to include, they haven't played yeah, well at yeah. all this season. Like the traditional big six. They, yeah, yeah. they are not playing well and they've had too many bad spells. Yeah. Look, if you go back in the league, there was a point where people were even talking about would they even make top five? Remember when they lost in yep. December against yep. Aston Villa? Yep. Everybody were like, would they even make top four? Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, they find their way back. And, and, you see, the scary thing about this for me is that. It's not even about winning the league this season. Mm-hmm. They are looking to buy Paqueta and Musiala. They are ah, slowing yes. for next season. Ah, and no. that's why someone has to break it. No, <laughs> see, no. That's why someone has it to break I mean, it. I mean, to be fair, Gajola wanted Paqueta last, last summer. He wanted they Raisif. They didn't, they didn't Ga- get Gajola him. Gajola is mad. Oh, da. <laughs> He's mad. <laughs> He's mad. He wanted Rice. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, for if, if no, but, if, but, no, but we, we saw why he wanted Rice, though. Because, I mean, at some point, they need midfielders. Mm. Kovacic hasn't exactly been brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, if Rice would have, get, Rice yeah, would have no, been No, see, if they, get, if they get Musiala, it's no good. Yeah. See, no, 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 see, yeah. see, no. Musiala, Paqueta, for them. Chale, no, 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 Teams would want to waste time and give someone. No, they just move on quick, and that, yeah, that's yeah. the mentality that has given them three yeah. titles, and now they are in poor position to win yet another. Yeah. And you see, why I'm saying this is crucial. Just to wrap up, is that when we are looking at the fixtures between these three teams, mm-hmm. nobody, absolutely nobody, dropped points in the matches for Liverpool and then Arsenal against Palace and Aston Villa at home. Yes, yes, if anything, that's, that's true. Everyone was looking at. Maybe at home, Liverpool, you think Spurs might disturb yeah. them a bit. But Arsenal, maybe it was the United game yeah. and United then game. playing against and Tottenham Brighton. away. And Brighton. No, I think, yeah, the Brighton, Brighton won a yeah. fairly. Yeah. I, I thought the home, you see, the home matches, they don't spare it. Yeah. Because you are waiting on the assumption that all of these teams will win their home games. Of course. And I think City would. But now you see, the problem is that Arsenal will play Bayern. They will play Wolves. Then Chelsea. And I think you play Wolves, Chelsea. Wolves, yeah. Chelsea, Spurs. Before yeah. you play Spurs, yeah. in all of these three games, Spurs is not playing because mm-hmm. they're not playing FA Cup. And so Arsenal hey. are going to play three games in so, the next so, week. So, so, so real quick, I'll just halt you just a In bit. the next Guys, week or so. So quickly, yeah. officially, this is the official list for uh, Manchester City. It's Brighton. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Is, it, is it winnable? Brighton away. Oh, Brighton away. Brighton have been very poor recently. Very, yeah. Yeah. Winnable. 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 Nottingham Forest away. Win. 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 Wolves at home. Win. Win. Fulham away. Win. Fulham away. Hey, go hard, it should be tricky, yeah. but, they'll find but, but they'll find a way to yeah. win. Yeah. Depending yeah. on how the title races, yeah. they'll Spurs yeah. away. I think yeah. that's their most. That's, yeah. that's, the, that's the difficult fiction. And that's then West Ham at home. Well, we'll win. Beat the final game of the season. We'll we'll win. 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 We'll win. Anyway, Moist, Moist never beats the top sides. So. Yeah, yeah. Liverpool fixtures. Fulham away. Tricky, but you see still. the thing about Liverpool. Yeah, right when they are right capitulating, they're right doing like yeah, four yeah, sets. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's about right six now. matches. And, and that's what I'm saying. Why not? They've done three. That's what I'm saying. Right. That. Now, now, Atlanta, yeah. and then. And now that they've lost against Palace, Palace yeah. Fulham, they could lose. Yeah. And you see, no, they could lose. It, it's, they could. The, it's a confidence issue. Yeah. Because now Klopp is thinking, because do I go full squad for the Europa? Yeah, the Atlanta. To try and salvage it. And you see, you you play. Three days after yeah. that. So now, he doesn't even know whether to go. F- and you have to go full strength. Because you have to try and win. The exactly. Three goals, are Atlanta, Atlanta is not beyond you. Yeah. Of yeah. Course. So you have to try and go I mean, they have, be, they have scored five against Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. have to go strong. But now you're thinking of player fatigue. Mm. Can you play your same 11 again over yeah. the weekend against Fulham? And you see, Fulham have just broken once, a kiss. Once you drop points like this, there's pressure on you. Yep. Because now you need to make up for the points. Yep. You, so it means now you need to play f- at full strength yep. every single game. Yes. Yeah. Considering the number of uh, competitions you are and in. And there's nothing more difficult than playing teams who are, have nothing to lose. Yeah. Yeah. Look, 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 look at Crystal Palace. But the thing, oh, is, oh, and the thing is, Fulham have gone to West Ham to win today. Yeah, they've broken so, a very long kiss. So, so what shows that yeah. they will not win at yeah. Craven Cottage yeah. in front of their fans? Yeah. 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 I, I think depending on how the Atlanta one Then there's the Mets side derby against Everton. And that's away. No, they will beat Everton. No, you see, I, they'll beat Everton. I Depending think the West is draw for Liverpool. If they're not able to recover their form, once again, I, I'm saying there's something about Liverpool. If you look back all the seasons where they let it slip, there was a brief four to six game period where they let points go that they shouldn't have. Yeah. And it's always associated with Mohamed Salah being silent. 
I'm not <laughs> look, he's a fantastic player, he's done his bit. But there's just some coincidence. Whenever yeah. Liverpool are going on a poor streak, just yeah. look at the numbers. Mm. Salah also, and is there a case that maybe he needs a better supporting cast? Because I, I, I Nunes, so. is, Nunes is missing too many too chances. Many. Too, too many. Too many. In the title many. race, you cannot afford too, too, many. too many chances. Look, too at, many. look at the chances he was missing in the Atlanta yeah. game. Oh, too many. Crazy. Then they play West Ham at, um, at the Olympic Stadium. Hmm. Also, another game where I, I think West Ham would disturb them. Yeah. They have over the years. Yeah. They've done City a favor, I think, a couple of seasons. One against Arsenal, one against mm. Liverpool. So, I, I, you know, I, I think... I, I just don't see Liverpool winning. It's witchcraft. It's witchcraft if, if West Ham win this game against Liverpool and lose to City in the final game. They will. Oh, they will. They will. They will. They will. They will. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> and I'm they saying will. that for Liverpool, I just, I just don't think they'll win the three away games, Fulham, Everton, and then West so, Ham. So the thing, is that, in the thing is that West Ham have had a bad... Um, They've had bad games in London this year. Yeah, I mean, okay. uh, if you look at from January up yeah. until now, it hasn't yeah. been good. Yeah. But Moyes still has that Ever Evertonian, I need to beat Liverpool behind his head. Mm. And he's beating mm. Liverpool at the, at the Olympic Stadium before. Yeah. So it won't, be something that, yeah, it won't be something that would be so difficult for Oof. him to do. And so, yeah, Liverpool have it really tough. Liverpool Spurs at home. And yeah. Liverpool Spurs at Anfield. Draw. Mm. Yeah, mm. draw two two. Plus, plus draw two two. Liverpool Arsenal nemesis away. Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Hey, Liverpool Aston Villa away. away. Oh, oh, no. oh, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Liverpool are just at I'm sorry. They look. They look easier last week. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> then final game of the yeah, season. Wolves at home. Because every leaves. every was oh, okay, every was the Champions one. League. Emery was a champion. Yeah. League. I don't think he will lose ground now. Yeah. That especially after beating Arsenal yeah. at the yeah. Emirates. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, nah. He, yeah. He, he, final he, game of the season, Wolves at home. At Liverpool, oh, they Liverpool. Yeah, so they'll yeah, win that game. Why they always, oh, always play Wolves final game at the season? They'll win that game. Arsenal <laughs> fixtures. Uh, you are no dreading good. it, eh? It's no good. Wolves away. Bill, can you please answer this? Win. Oh, win. Win, win. Oh, win. Are you sure? Yeah, we win. No, you see, once again, but after, take after, by, after Bayern, yes. by change. You play by after you Bayern. You play Bayern, right? <laughs> yeah, after Bayern. You, you play, play Bayern on Wednesday. Yeah, Bayern, Bayern, yeah Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. And then you go and play Wolves three days later. You see, I'm thinking about the freshness of your... You see, at this point, and it's an away game too. It's not that you're not good enough. Though. The reason why you drop points against West Ham, Southampton last season, mm -hmm. it's just the legs. I just don't think Arsenal has that quality of depth. Some players always have to play. Odegaard, Saka. If you're not there, it feels like you oh, cannot Saka, win the yeah, game. He doesn't have a, a replacement. So you see, that's so. the. I think that was. Be, Ateta didn't expand the squad enough. Yeah. So now he has to trust some certain. I think. I think he did. He, did. he did. He tried. He tried, he did. He tried he did. but the, the, thing, but the, the thing is, he did with the midfield. Yeah. You he know, did. The, the midfield. They have yeah. so many options. Yeah. yeah. But in the attacking areas and in the creative areas, he didn't do too much in there. And that's where well, the problem is. Saka like this, I think he's tired, to yeah. be honest. Oh, yeah. oh no is, doubt. Yeah. Saka, Saka is tired. Saka, Saka for is like, tired. For like two season streets, the guy hasn't rested. The only time you rest is if he's sick. And, and, this week, and, 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 also, ah. and also, let's just take note that Arsenal have scored all their goals in February. Mm, yeah. When we're going... Thank you. The, you see, they, the hmm. They've scored all their goals in February. The thing is that even if... The, look, look at City's fixtures now until the end of the season. Right now, Pep Guardiola knows that even if he could lose ground um, to win the league, the goal difference would count. Yeah. So right now, the teams that he's going to face, look at what he's, he's done to Luton. But even the Luton, did you see the team? Thank you. Rest, was playing Nunes, Kovacic. Yeah. The Foden didn't touch and, and they beat how many? Five. Five. Doku. Doku is now a bench player. Yeah. He has, Grealish he has doesn't play. He has improved the goal difference a bit. Yeah. Now, small, in, small. in the next few games, Obibeji four, Obibeji three. <laughs> you see, so that's the thing. So the thing is, even, even Arsenal's goal difference that looked really good. Could um, be crumbling. Some, it, it could be crumbling. Mm. And I think that Chale will be tough. The, the Arsenal games, Wolves. I think the Wolves yeah. depends on how Bayern Nine goes. I think they'll win Wolves. Because if that Bayern, they're, they're eliminated by any chance and yeah. it goes to extra time and it's a very painful defeat, I just don't see how they're able to pick themselves up. Then that would be terrible for them because after I, Wolves, there's Chelsea, Tottenham. Chelsea, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because after Wolves, if they don't win Wolves, there'll be Chelsea at Emirates. Then there's Tottenham away. So you see, you ask yourself, how, which game does Ateta rest his players? Yep. In all of this, considering the fact that if they even make that mistake, not a mistake, but it could be a curse in this guy. If they go to the semi-finals, remember that is also an extra two fixtures that comes into this. Yep. And then you ask yourself, at what, at what point does Ateta rest his... I don't think Arsenal ever had the squad to challenge for two major trophies. Yep. 
and you see the problem right now is that maybe they were playing today but their heads were in the buying game, in the buying game. it's that's difficult true. That's very and true. it's the first time they are doing this in yeah. years so, if you don't have the so, experience so you always were, struggle at this if point if you were Ateta what would you do if I was Ateta prioritize, I, the, prioritize the league or the Champions League I would do what he did today and play my best squad in the league. But you see, there's a, there's a downside to it because I just, I just think you just need to keep a certain level of freshness, especially for the margins in the champ. Look, look at the teams like Real Madrid, Bayern. Everyone rested their players this weekend. Man City. And they scored some great goals. Yeah, and if you are not resting your players, then there's a big question mark. Yep. It means that mm. you just don't have that. You don't have a squad that you can trust, or you don't have the squad that you think is good enough. Because logically, you are supposed to rest. Your, it's not like you're playing a city or you are supposed to rest your players yeah. because now you play Bayern three days later, you play Wolves three days later, you play Chelsea four days later or so, and then you Spurs. play Spurs three days later. Yeah. You have to rest your players somewhere. Yep. And I, I, I wonder where it will come. Maybe it will be the Chelsea match. Maybe. We we are no good. Yeah. Get your stuff. The English Premier League it says and does a lot. So we'll go on straight to the game of the weekend. It's a panel game for the weekend, and it's very very simple, guys. We are arranging the following coaches into the following categories. <laughs> very good. Good. Okay. Please, if you are listening to us, listen attentively. Don't, you know, misappropriate the judgments by these guys. Don't go and give someone's very good to somebody else. Remember, the categories are only three. It is okay, good, or very good. We don't have bad coach. We don't, please, we beg you. We don't have a bad coach. We say it is okay, it is good or very good. But I have only two of my guys in the studio here. And so we'll see how they battle it out uh, between these coaches. Let's go. Guys, we start with um, Didi Dramani. Category A, B, or C. Wait, very good. Very good is A. Uh Uh-huh. Good is B, uh-huh. and then OK is C. <laughs> Why did we bring bad? <laughs> <laughs> well, bad is F. <laughs> Didi Dramani. Didi Dramani. You've done, you done some good things. Didi, da, di, di, di. Didi, Didi has done some good things. Yeah, won the go. league. Yeah, won the league at Kotoko. <laughs> um, Showed his... Won it three times, actually. Yeah, yeah, won, yeah won the league yeah. at Kotoko. Also, youth uh, football. the youth football. Women's with football. The women's football. Yeah. Very good. I think very good. Very yeah. good? Yeah, yeah. Very Okay. Very good. Now, remember, uh, very good is by what standard? Is it... Oh, Pep Ghana Gu- standard. Is it Pep Guardiola very good? No, no, no. Ghana standard. I mean, it's just Ghana football. Ghana Ghana So, all the very good you hear, I mean, the guys who will be in a very good bracket are the guys who are uh, uh, creme de la creme. Yeah. Better still, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Basha Hayford. Very good. Basha Hayford, very good. I think. Why are you scared of the insult? No. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no, no I, think, I think for what he did with, okay. with Ash Gold. Yeah. In 2015. The for the first time in 19 yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ash Gold had tried and tried. Yeah. They, they had chopped and changed. They had spent so much money. And for him to come in and just win the league for them the way he did, mm. I, I think he deserves a uh, very good. So Basha Hayford ba- is very Basha good. Basha Hayford is very good. And, okay. and even Wait. what he did at Dwarfs. Mm. Um, <laughs> Uh, I think that the Black Queens he didn't yeah. do particularly I well. I just thought of that. That's are they, I said. Are <laughs> yeah. Are there are there uh, African uh, Women's yeah, Cup of Nations yeah. which we hosted? He yeah. he didn't do too well. Yeah. But by virtue of that uh, Ash Gold performance, uh, yeah, I mean, and and I think that he he hasn't considerably well. I mean, from Power FC. Yeah, I'll know, come back to this thing you said. Uh, very good. <laughs> Samabwedu. Samabwedu is good. Why is he not very good? Because um, Bashar Hayford, you mentioned just one season. No, because where do you want two titles because, with Yemen? Because he's done it. He's he won done again it, with Hearts, I think. He's done it over. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Bashar Hayford had done it over a period. Okay, you understand. Um, I think we do uh, considerably. I mean, he's he's still there. Mm. He's still in the he's at Wassa. in the realm of where <laughs> we we'll say, you know, he's a, he's good enough. Okay, you understand. He's not he's not up there yet. I think that for what he did with Hearts, winning the league for the first time yeah. since 2010, um, the FA Cup, yeah. and, and even the, the season after where he was able to win the FA Cup. Yeah. So, yeah, good. But for what he did also with, with the under-20 side, you was, I think was good, good. Good, good, good. Some good. Yeah, good. Yeah, we well, agree, good. good. Not, not very good, but good. So we've had two very goods and yeah, one, one good. good. Yeah. You see Baziki. Very good. Oh, very good. Very good. Women's football. Women's football. Yeah, very, yeah. yeah, very good. At least he has a speciality. Yeah, okay, very okay. good. Yeah. Ignatius Osefusu. 
Okay. <laughs> See, this is what I was asking. Is there, is there a bar? <laughs> oh, very cool. Very now, cool. now we'll listen to you. <laughs> very cool. I have oh, it's not the, for, it's not for quotes. Cool. Cool. No, I have given you the category. Good evening. Now we'll listen. <laughs> how, how is the family now? <laughs> Ignatius, very cool. Okay. Okay. Ignatius. So we both agree on, I mean, you both agree on okay. Yeah. yeah. Desmond Affair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh, very cool. <laughs> Desmond Affair, good. Good. Yeah. He's I think he's not he's not gotten to Yeah, he's not he's not gotten to yeah. I mean it's yeah, just a few yeah, months into yeah, the into but, the but, job. But, but but what he did at the African games, yeah. yeah. Good. I think yeah, based off qualifications. Yeah. Because he has like you have a bro, bro, bro. Don't no, give I mean, qualifications. No, it's, it's something now you don't see with a number of only like a handful of Ghanaian coaches have you ever played. Please. End of the day. And then I don't want any court case here. So you hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they're good is, is fair. So yeah, good. Yeah, good, good. So good for them. I think, I think this you do more. I think Ofer will get to. Ex- we need some sustained success. Ofer yeah. will get to. Ofer is one of the coaches who will get to excellence. Now he needs mm. to get to Wafu, yeah. Afcon, yeah. World Cup. Yeah. yeah. He'll, Ofer, they will know. Ofer, yeah. Ofer, Ofer there he will get to excellence. I think Ofer is one of those pl- uh, coaches that we could potentially give him the Black Stars job a bit mm. later. Yeah, because the one who is there now, <laughs> he, he won't work. We'll so get to him. George yeah. Watting. <laughs> Okay. I'm, I, you, okay for you. Okay. Thank you very much. Oroku, George Boating. Oroku, your microphone is not off. My mic, my mic is off. George Boating. Oh, George. What, what is about Babuki again? There's nothing about Babuki. Uh, <laughs> for George, there's nothing about Babuki. Oh, you see, you see, I think, I think, I think George. Uh, is why they can't analyze? Oh, I'm. Um, I'm, I'm explaining why. Okay. I think George is slightly above Wookie. He's, I think he's good. What has he done? That, that makes him above Wookie. Oh, I, f- I think he's, you know, he's broken some boundaries because <laughs> being a black coach in the UK is not easy. Even at uh, even at youth level, to be able to work with the Aston Villa under 17. Producer says this is solid work. An- analysis. <laughs> <laughs> work through to the under 23s. And even at a point where they didn't have a coach, they moved them up to sit to their assistants for when Villa were trying to get a coach, mm-hmm. there was that level of trust. I think maybe the Black Stars, it was like a collective thing, kind of yeah. like put a little <laughs> blim on his light. But I, th- I still think he's also, yeah, one of the few coaches with the UEFA Pro, a very connected, has learned the game very well. And I think he'll be back. I think he'll be back. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. <laughs> he's okay. <laughs> if you are saying... The black coach in the UK, Koloture is also there. Yeah. He's black. Yeah. So you know that. Yeah. He's, he's uh, okay. But if we play yeah. <laughs> Koloture and I, I yo, 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 let's play. Yo, 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 yo. Like, yo, 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 yo. Let's play. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Comp- I, I, I didn't say there weren't any black coaches. I just said it's not, like, enough. It's, <laughs> it's underrepresented. Oh, bro. He's <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Anyway, Otoadu. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Not good. You qualified yeah, it to walk out. Okay. You see, this is what I understand. Otto <laughs> <laughs> has managed 12 games as a coach. That's what I said. That should be a level lower. Yeah. You can't put Otto and these boys in Yeah. The you can't put. You can't. I don't think you can put Otto. Technically, Otto hasn't been a coach outside Black Stars. So his yeah. only coaching job. His only coaching job is Black Stars. Coach for 12 so matches. Uh, and at the Black Stars, has he failed? Oh, has he failed? He's won like five matches. Isn't he one of your most successful coaches? Well, in the in, 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 in the last six years or so. Well, forty percent win rate. At the work was that successful? I mean, <laughs> the win rate is low. <laughs> he hasn't won any trophy. No experience. Nothing. 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 So to Adu. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, since yeah. that's if there was a rank, if there was a rank below, okay, I'd have put him there. Wow. Yeah. Max oh. Okunedu. You, you see, Max has achieved a lot. Yes. Max has achieved yes. a lot. You know. Because he's been around long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's so Maxwell. He's one of the but, like the best brains that we have locally too. But, yeah, but you but, see, I think he stagnated. Yes. After 2017, when he came in as the caretaker, 2014, 2015, yeah. 20, when he was assistant. Yeah. I think he should have by now. He should have been on like a continental job. To be still he managing, be a national, national team coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To be, he shouldn't still, be here. To still be in the local league. The I thing think, is, that's that, the only. The thing is that after, after all the sackings. Why didn't the FA think he was good enough yeah, exactly. to yeah, stay he's on? Never and that up. was the problem. Yeah, yeah, that was the problem. Uh, I'll, I'll, I like him though. But you see, yeah, I, I, I like, yeah. I like. So I, I, I believe like that there has to be more categories because there should be some small overlapping. Maxwell yeah. is not as bad as the ones in the OK, but the thing is that he's also not as good as the ones in the good because 
he should have been doing better by Unfortunately, now. Unfortunately, yeah. we don't have a mid. A mid. So, um, so, so good. Maxwell, good. Yeah, we'll give Maxwell, him good. Because yeah, we'll we can't Karim Zito. Oh, good. Karim Zito, good. Good. I think we don't have to even talk plenty. Good, no, Anna no. Walker. If if Karim goes on to win Confed, I think he goes Which he can't. Into, yeah. He goes into very good. He goes. Yeah, he, he could be potentially even go into yeah. excellence. Yeah. 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 I would. I'll put him about very yeah. good. Because, because because winning, era. winning the FA Cup with dreams. Yeah. Winning the under yeah. 20. Yes, yes, Afcon, yes. You know, getting yes, to the no, Yes, he, I think excellence He's worked with the number of and, clubs. And, and you know the, the youth team he took to, was it Serbia? Yeah. Recently. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. he's... What, was I, it, I like was him. Was it Zito who... He, he first promoted Medea, if I'm wrong. Yes. Yeah, 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 he did. Yeah. 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 Zito is a really good coach. I really like him. Coach. I like yeah. him. Anna Walker. <laughs> I, I think that um, I have seen... I've seen how tough it is to work at Olympics. And... For him, to, him, he made them a formidable. Yeah, for team, him to, to consistently over the period keep them in the league, yeah. make them fight for oh, yeah. for places in the league. Because we know Olympics, you know, they come, they go, they come, they go. But with Walker, there was a yeah. bit of stability, yeah. and I felt like that was like impressive. He he left and then went to where did he go? I think he went to Mediam or something. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. One of these new teams. Yeah, yeah, he went to one of these new clubs, and then and then it didn't particularly uh, work out, and, yeah. then he, and then he came back to Olympics and all of that. But I think that you know Walker is still one of those coaches that deserves a bit more respect than he gets. Mm. You know? So, okay. so maybe maybe I think the coach is in okay. Well, okay, he's, he's okay. So far, think, yeah. Ignatius is okay. I can't put. Uh, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't put I can't put Ignatius with Daniel Walker. Exactly. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. But, but Ignatius and Otuado. Ignatius, yeah, same level. I'm telling you, <laughs> same, same, same level. Ignatius so, managed more games. So, so meaning, so meaning, Ignatius can be blast as coach. No, that so so no. The thing is that I think it's look, about look, look, given the opportunities. What have you done? Thank you. And I think Ignatius. Or has, let's 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 do a comparison. Ignatius, the but for King mm-hmm. Faisal, mm-hmm. Ignatius, any team Ignatius had coached had never been relegated. Mm-hmm. It was just last season that he he relegated King Faisal. Three yeah. FM. If Nine, we two, put Otoado mm-hmm. in that King Faisal team, is he is he saving King Faisal from relegation? It's not happening. I don't think so. Yeah, exactly. And so But that's because it's a different terrain. How is will, a different will, terrain? Will, will Ignatius also be able to do Otto's job at Dortmund? Talent coach. Talent coach. Can he? Yes. You think? Yes. You see, I don't Trainer think... Trainer scouts. I don't, I don't, yes. The, you think? I'm telling you. The, the, I don't think the so. The thing is that your experience as a trainer scout, it barely counts towards your but coaching you see, it, experience. It, it, but you see, it, it also means that you, you need to have a bit of um, knowledge about he was, young players. He was steady for it. No. Oh. That, I mean, <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> no, that trajectory, as a coach, you don't even need to have that. It is a plus if you do. But how many times it has but, but worked? But, but there are but there are But there are specialists in that position, to be honest. Yeah, like we have there are people. There are people whose job in football is just to be that. Yeah, and, I, and I'm saying and that. is now breaking and I, and a boundary. That, a personal I'm saying boundary. that if Ignatius had decided not to coach and mm-hmm. said, "I'm going to be a trainer," oh yeah, well, of course, of course, of course, course, of course, he could. Exactly. Yeah, I think the biggest. I mean, yeah, and I, I mean, from that point, yeah, I understand. The, the if, biggest, if the right biggest from red the beginning, flag. The biggest red flag we would try to is that you've been with Dortmund in and out. If he was a good coach, yeah, they would have made him one of the youth coaches. Yep. They would have elevated him from trainer scout yep. or talent, whatever yep. coach. Mm. Or but he's an actual but, coach. But, but he's still there doing, were openings. He's yeah. still doing Derek Watson's job at Right to Dream at Dortmund. That's what he's doing. <laughs> so it's only Keto Kriku that sees a coach in him. I mean, uh, that, I mean, uh, he he thinks that he's he he's, and his vice he's good. I mean, what they saw at the World Cup was mm. good enough for them, and so yeah, hopefully it works. He's out a now. decent level coach. It's yeah. just experience. A controversial one, Prosper Ogum. <laughs> Uh, time at Wafa first season at Kotoko and then okay. now mm. if Boedu was okay no Boedu was good we put Boedu on good yeah. Boedu can be okay hey we put Boedu on good the thing is that if Boedu is good then probably, I think he and Prosper they are, they are both remember they are both yeah. intense at the World Cup yeah, they are both same yeah, level, same level. Yeah, same same level. level. Yeah. he's also good I mean. Ibrahim Tanko okay okay for me okay. I agree yeah yeah I'm praying okay yeah I'm okay 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 yeah we champ on okay Bismarck Kobe Mensa. Okay. Tell you, this is why there shall be the law. <laughs> All these boys, no, I swear we're good. Evans, now, tell Evans, me. Evans, Evans, ah. Evans Adote, I'll put him on good. good. Are you sure? Yeah. Not I'll, bad. I'll He's not bad. Good. I've seen Adote with the women's team. <laughs> <laughs> and they walk up. But I mean... Yeah, sure you go, bro. But I mean, but I mean that, 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 that was just one of those, those tournaments for him. I think. <laughs> It was just one of those tournaments. No, 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 but Adote, Adote, I'll put Adote at good. I, I yeah, think I that, think Adote I think, is yeah, good. Yeah, I think Ivan Adote is good. It's been, it's been good. 
Oh, okay. He's my friend. Ah, go, as a goalkeeper coach or as a backup coach. <laughs> or maybe as a pundit. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he's, he's my man, but okay. Okay, <laughs> okay we all agree. Okay, we can. Back with Fabian. Back with Fabian, that's an interesting one. Fabian, I, 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 I think he's also around the Maxwell thing. I think by now they should have been out of the country. Yeah, yeah he, should have been, yeah. he should have been doing bigger Because things. I really don't know why Pakistan Fabian is still here. Yeah, 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 it's not. Because his under 17 teams were so good. Very good. Um, very good. Uh, he also did a good job at Indiana, did a good job at, at Kotoko when he was there. I'll put, him, I'll put him at good. And his football is really nice to watch as yeah, well. Yeah, I'll put him at good. Yeah. Then this top one. Chris Yapia. Very good. Excellent for me. <laughs> if we had anything the about... The context of Ghana football, I think. Yeah, yeah. very good. Very yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, he's Omunia he's senior, right? Yeah, of I mean, course. He's, yeah. their, he's their boss. Yeah. yeah. I mean, There's a like, reason not, he's always around when it comes for, um, to um, Black Stars coaching... Yeah, I mean, his every time there's an opening, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's around because yeah. he's the best of the local coaches. Yeah, and, he's and the best of for them. for him to actually coach another national team, I think that's the biggest mark for you as a coach yeah. that yeah. another country will come and trust yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, look, no matter how small the country is, whoever they it's a big tick. Yeah, mm. so I think and, yeah. and he's not exactly disgraced himself every, every time yeah. he stepped out of the country. That means Salasteta is very good. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, we should have added him. Salasteta, yeah. is, I, I like him. Yeah. He's yeah. very good. Yeah. I mean, f- winning the World Cup, yeah. that alone. Speaking of managing outside, you no, know, George Barton outside in Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you believe this guy? I don't know if he's just received a message <laughs> or whatever it is. Did you just get an alert? <laughs> 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 this period don't go work cool. Malaysian. <laughs> On to some good stuff. The last 20 minutes of the show. We'll dedicate the next 10 minutes to one thing, or maybe, yeah, something close to 10 minutes to one thing. And the last um, 10 minutes would go to the UEFA Champions League. I'm talking about the games we are expecting this week. But before that, we have a champion in Germany. What a banging way to go. (coughs) Bayern Leverkusen are champions of the German Bundesliga this season. And they have done that in style. If you see, if you don't know how to read, and yours is just to look at the top two and just say, "Oh, wait, D say, wait, D say," you you mistaken by Munich for Dortmund. The gap they've given them sixteen points, <laughs> and they have also tied the record. I think I think producers confirmed that for me, but I think they've confirmed uh, they've um, tied the record for the number of games um, on beating across Europe since the year 2000. Juventus held that record with um, 42 games. Now it's 42 for Leverkusen as well. One more game without a defeat and it is their record. Real Madrid have come close. Manchester United have come close. Liverpool and Chelsea have come close. Manchester City went close as well, but nobody went as close as Leverkusen have done. So Leverkusen um, winning their game against uh, Werder Bremen. Five goals to zero. Five nil. Oh, Chelsea. See what somebody to do. So I'll just run by you who the scorers are and then we'll get into what a phenomenal season it's been uh, for Bayern Leverkusen. We all know just what this means for them, uh, for the club. This is a major trophy they have won and won in style. And it's uh, one man. It is uh, Zabi Alonso getting all the plaudits there. But Victor Boniface opened the scoring via the penalty spot in the first half. The only goal of the first half. Veda Bremen didn't know what was coming. Four more in the second half. Granik Xhaka uh, went uh, scoring in the 60th minute and then uh, we also had Vets also scoring a hat-trick 68, 83rd and the 90th minute for Leverkusen. Sealing not just a win but also a victory in the season's Bundesliga. Yeah, yeah. that's impressive. Huge. It's, uh, it's, it's hugely impressive and yeah. I think that for many of the Bayer Leverkusen fans they'll still go to bed tonight um, not knowing what has hit them. Exactly. Uh, a lot of them would be thinking how much of an incredible season this has yeah. been. I don't think that at the start of the season, any of them envisaged it to go this way for them. And uh, I mean, congr- big, big con- congratulations to them. But I think that 
for Xabi Alonso, he's done a, <coughs> a really, really good job at, at Bayer Leverkusen. I mean, not not many teams pick up a team like like he has and then do what they've done uh, at the moment. I mean, Bayer Leverkusen have always been uh, a really top side, mm -hmm. but they have always gotten close to the title and, and have somehow missed it out or they've always gotten close to some big moments and have, they've, they've missed it. This time around, they've won the league with 16 points to, yeah. uh, to the good and some games to spare, yeah. which is like really, really huge. Now they can just, they can really just focus on other things and Jabi Alonso could just focus on, you know, trying to rebuild the team next season, uh, looking out for which players he can bring in for the Champions League uh, next season as well. And it's incredible to see Bayer Leverkusen back on top again and uh, congratulations to them. And also for a player like Jeremy Frimpong, uh, I think that is, is huge for him. Young boy, uh, talented, still trying to get into uh, European football proper and to cap it off with a Bundesliga title is huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oroku, Bundesliga is for Leverkusen. They've done that and done that really, really well. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's an incredible achievement for them. A very remarkable season that uh, they've had. But I think everything they've achieved, everything they've done domestically goes back to, I think, about 15th September where they drew with Bayern at the Allianz Arena. I think it was a Palacios penalty very late in the game. That set the marker for me. I think that was the day where people realized that maybe Bayern Leverkusen have what it takes to mm -hmm. compete with this Bayern team. And time and time again, I say he laid the marker because if you realized... Quite a number of the decisive moments domestically were decided after the 85th minute. Mm. I remember even against Bokum where I think around the 85th minute we were losing the game. How many times have we said that? And then they go on and score a winner. Patrick Schick being a very heavy contributor to the heavy goals, um, the late goals as well. Uh, but I, I think that it's been a very... It's like a full circle moment for, for this whole club, uh, for Leverkusen and for Xabi alone to coming in what, a year and a half ago where they were involved in a relegation battle, who would have thought that in less than two years they would be crowned champions of, of Bundesliga with five games to spare and Bayern still went out well and alive and running. Those are words that no one would have believed even as late, as far back as last season. So I think it's been good for them. They've shut the doubters up. Anyone who didn't believe in their hustle in the early parts of the season, I think now has become a believer because there's a process attached to what they're doing. Mm. It's not unfortunate that although they've won the league mm -hmm. with five matches to go in the, in the league and then the final for the German Cup and then also potentially about four games to go in the Europa League, they cannot smile too much because it's not even about them winning those trophies. There's that added pressure because now they have to win. They have to continue winning and avoid defeat. Because those five league games in any other league, any other world, in any other circumstance, they could have taken their foot off the pedal. Yeah. But still, they want to keep this unbeaten. And, you know, I think being unbeaten is like a drug. It's like an addictive substance in you where you've forgotten how to lose that. You just want to keep it going. Uh -huh. And I just think that would be the crucial point in where this Leverkusen side will place in history. If it was up to me, mm -hmm. I think they should lose in the league now. They've won the league. That's mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. You don't want that first defeat to be always in and around the important moments of the season, getting close to the European finals. Because, you see, the day they'll lose, depending on the gravity of the game, the talk about Leverkusen now, the record-broken... because And then also not be a sustained run of bad results where even if like you're saying they lose seven. now mm -hmm. and remember there is the DFB Pokal final yeah. there is the potential U uh, Europa final mm -hmm. that is if they get there if they do get there there are really crucial games there's even the semi-final to be played yeah think about if they lose now and if there's going to be a six game losing streak like yeah. we saw with Napoli like we, we've seen with several other you know small so-called small clubs who have overachieved in a season where they are unable to sustain some level of success mm. after actually being crowned champions mm. i mean i understand where you're coming from but it could also be a very bad run of form you, you know, you, you <laughs> know I'm, I'm, i was actually season. building the point to where you are okay. because I, that's what i'm saying that is a very tricky situation because yeah. 
Now you ideally you'd want to win all the games, yeah. but I just don't think they would, it's especially possible. now that they've won the league. Yeah. You have to manage the minutes now because you're in three competitions. Yeah. You've won one. You want to keep an eye on both and all that. But just like we saw with Algeria, Italy, yeah. countries that usually and clubs that come from nowhere, mm-hmm. you know, we're not talking about a Man City, or a Bayern, or, or a Roma. Real Madrid. Clubs that have had sustained levels, like Liverpool, they've done 18 games, 19 games, 20 games. So this terrain is not unusual to them. Clubs or countries that just spring from nowhere and then go on these streaks, the moment they lose, <laughs> There's a huge effect, domino yeah. effect. Yeah. And the sad thing is that if they do lose in and around this time, there won't be time to recover. That's what I'm saying, that in the league, it wouldn't be as bad because they've already won the league. So if they do lose in the league, fine. They still won the league. But if that loss comes in the Europa League, mm-hmm. <laughs> or so, it's not, it would feel like now you are ending, you've won, you've won something, but the dopamine rush would not be the same. Mm. In the sense that they've, ri- they've raised the standard so high that now they have to win the treble. Yeah, now because I mean, if, especially yeah. if Liverpool get knocked out of the Europa League yeah. and AC Milan don't also make it to the semi-finals. They are the favourites now. In the German Cup final, they've won it. it you know, it's, not, it's, <laughs> it's, it's just a formality. <laughs> the club, you know, they're not playing any top, uh, top flight club. And so you'd expect them to win that as well. I think the real challenge now is the Europa League. And I would but, 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 but let's be fair, though. Imagine. If, if imagine, Leverkusen finished the season just with the Bundesliga, that's, that's a big achievement. It would be a big achievement. But now <laughs> if they end up with just one out of three, that's how football... I, I'll still exp- take it. Expectations are very dynamic. Yeah, I mean, I get it. They're very... Because, you see, it's always what you can win at the beginning of the season. But... Get into this part of the season. In September, now, in September, if it told Javi Alonso, he'll be winning the Bundesliga and the DFB Pokal. I think he would take you 100%. He would, he would, he would jump and, and, yep. and sacrifice his salary yep. for that, to yep. be honest. Yeah, yeah, but I, I'm, just, I'm just curious to see where they lose. No, that's, that's why they are celebrating today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that, they, so that I mean, they, yeah. they should. Yeah. They should. They have every right. But yeah. I'm, just, I'm just looking ahead. I'm seeing how far this team... I think the more dangerous one is... The if, League. No, if they win everything this season, mm-hmm. they'll continue the streak into next season. That's Chelsea. That's super dangerous. That's a Chelsea. Because you see, there will be Chelsea that. winning two European titles and, 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 and <laughs> being blown apart by every team the next season. Yeah, yeah. You think <laughs> that you are some... You, I always say that your true level will start to show. All of a sudden, there's something carrying there. I don't know how to explain it, but there's momentum. You have to yeah. believe beyond your tactics, player quality. There's momentum. All of that will drop the day they lose. But you see... When it comes next season, mm-hmm. and now you can't sign players, you mm-hmm. there's that assumption that oh we're, we're okay, yeah. we don't need this, we don't. So maybe it might not give them a true idea of their level. But when they start playing Champions League, Bayern come to their true self. Where would this Bayern Leverkusen side be? I think that will be the next question, and that's why Alonso wants to stay because if he left, the easier the easier thing to do would have been to leave and use this as a good credential to hop up to your next job. Yeah. But now, the next season is the real challenge. Yeah. Can he maintain this? Like when they start to lose, and there's no run carrying them. But the thing is, if, if next season they can go into it and even finish it with the, with the German Cup, I think they'll be fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm very, I interest, I'm very think, interested to see where yeah, they finish. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think yeah. they'll because be fine. The, the, the German terrain is very funny. This, this, this looks <laughs> a, bit like, a bit like Leicester. You know, after they At won the, the moment, league. Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. think Bayern Munich will have a repeat disaster next season no i think i think they come back they no. may not necessarily be the mighty bind we know yeah. but they definitely will come back with a shout for the for the title and i think for Liverpool, they just have to qualify for the champions league yeah really that would be the objective it would be very unserious of the club to think that they can now punch above the the champions league objective I mean, if, and if, they, if they are able to make like, it out of the group stage of the champions yeah. league and then yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe get into the quarterfinal. I yeah. think they'll, they'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting to know Alonso, how they fare in the Champions yeah, League. Yeah, Alonso would yeah. Alonso would know what to do because yeah. the thing is that look, Oriku, me if I'm a Liverpool fan, I'm taking this season with both hands. I don't think Liverpool fans are thinking about what happens next season. Look, there are Liverpool fans who have grown up. <laughs> I've never seen their team win anything. Yeah. yeah, you understand. So they'll take it. I mean, they they wouldn't think too much about next season. Uh, whatever happened next season, that's 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 fine. But I think that this season, you know, they'll just pick it and then just run with run with whatever it is. Because look, to to end Bayern's eleven year stranglehold on the Bundesliga and all of that mm. is, is, is is crazy. It's crazy. And, and <laughs> I'm just always very skeptical when it comes to these unbeaten runs, especially the, when it's teams that you don't expect it from. Yeah, right? I mean, the thing is that <laughs> the, 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 the team that should look at themselves and feel a lot of shame is Dortmund, <laughs> to, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. From 
from getting so close last year, exactly. they should have used the, yeah. that anger and disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. Especially because Bayern yeah. didn't do all yeah. this season. So if they kept that same but level, yeah. at least they would have been in That's the That's one of the space of Germany, Charlie. Mm. <laughs> Talk about the UEFA Champions League. Let's zoom into what we are expecting this week. So, in case you missed it, Arsenal drew 2-2 with Bayern Munich at the Emirates. They travel to the Allianz Arena. What are you expecting, Al? Um, I'm expecting uh, an Arsenal loss. Um, <laughs> because, um, <laughs> because... Why? No, because I don't see how Arsenal go to the, the, the Allianz, Allianz and Arena and then win and qualify. The, the biggest chance they had was to have, was to have won at home. At against, home. Against and they missed Bayern. it. And then try to go there and, and get a result, you know, to draw or to lose by uh, a, a much slimmer margin. But they, they couldn't do that. And so I just think that Bayern will throw everything at them uh, on Wednesday when they play. Mm. So, yeah, I think Bayern will just win it. Do you agree, Oroku? He doesn't expect an Arsenal win. Uh, it's, I think it's, um, it's, it'll probably be one of the tightest quarterfinal games that we'll have. Probably tighter than the City Madrid because I just think the... The coach, the lack of coaching quality displayed by Bayern, and coupled with the injuries, would it makes it a more balanced tie? Because uh, we had Coman limp off this weekend for for Bayern Munich, so he's mm. also unlikely to feature alongside Nabri. And so, I mean, Tuchel is very limited on options up front, especially when you consider the fact that Sunny also just came back from injury and didn't play this weekend. It just leaves him with Kane, Sane, Mula, and then Tell, who is a very young player. So I still think Bayern have enough, and playing at home gives them that added advantage. But I, I do think that Arsenal have demonstrated enough this season to make it a very tight affair. I, I do see you going to extra time, but I just can't predict beyond what happens there. I just don't know where this Arsenal side would be mentally after this past week. Dropping points against Aston yep. Villa when they had to, especially yep. right before they faced Bayern. Yeah. And Bayern it's, also won against Cologne. Y- yeah, yeah, but they weekend. would also watch the Leverkusen celebrations and probably be angered by yeah. it. <laughs> Knowing that I'm this is their last chance I'm as a trophy. Yeah. But it would, make, it would make a very good uh, you know, chance to give a nice statement from Tuchel that if mm. you just saw what Leverkusen did, this is not us. Okay. Okay. You could just go on and Quickly, do those type Real Madrid of City. City. City I, win? I think City at home, at home now. Yeah, I think yeah, at home. City. Madrid City should have, be at the Benabal. They should have made the home advantage. I think, yeah, Meaning City. you expect City in the, in the semi-final? Yeah. yeah, it would be disastrous. City buying a repeat of last season. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say Bayern will go. I said we'll go to extra time. <laughs> oh, nah. But I can't predict beyond that. Oh, okay. okay. I think we're very close. Okay. But, but, but you expect City to qualify? Yeah. Wow. You have that much faith in Guardiola and his team? Against Real Madrid? I just don't see we are winning at the Tihad. Yeah, it would be too difficult. Yeah, that's a problem. That means that they everything has to be hundred yeah. percent, and football doesn't work unless Carlo has some huge plan. <laughs> you see, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not a coach that is known for plans. Yeah, though. you. His plan is dependent <laughs> on how City yeah, plays, yeah. and that never goes too yeah. well. I think you have to be. They, what they have to do, they won't do it. They have to be aggressive, aggressive, and step up and want to play with City. But I don't think they will do that. I just don't think so. Let's move on to the big failure of last week, and that was PSG. <laughs> so, they, so they lost at home to Barca. They now travel <laughs> to the company. Uh, they'll lose again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't think this tie is over. You don't think it's over? You think it might be has something to give? There's something about Barcelona and Champions League that... Blessed. There's also something about PSG and Champions League. <laughs> 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 I mean, there's actually a bigger thing with PSG and Champions League. I, I just think I think PSG be much better than they were. You yeah, think so? The, I, I, I think so too. I, I, they were really poor. I though. Yeah, I they're really, really poor at home. It's up to how Barca will react and the the suspensions of Christensen. Yeah, yeah. And then Sergio Roberto. And Christensen is really huge for Barca this season. Yeah, I just think they will be light in midfield. Yeah. Pedri De Jong just came back from injury. I don't know how long they can last on on Tuesday. And then Gundo is probably fit enough, has been playing a large chunk. But if you're starting Frankie, Pedri, and Gundo, I, I just don't see. I see Pedro enough on the start. ball. Pedri didn't start the last game. Yeah, now he has to start because now he has to start. yeah, all the options are out. Yeah. 
I, I think they have enough to control the game. But what happens in those little moments when PSG start to assert themselves? I just don't think that midfield three has enough defensively to cope with the runners of Kang Lee, um, yeah. Vitinha, yeah. and Vitinha. And then uh, Zai Emery, they have a lot of young legs who love to run and join. <laughs> Charlie, you mentioned this, but hey, PSG no, the thing is, the thing is, <laughs> I feel like Enrique has to make up his mind on, yeah. on who he wants to start in midfield in that game. The thing is, Kangli was really good in the first in the first leg. I didn't think he had to come off at the time that he came yeah. off. I mean, he was really, really, really good. And so, if he's making a decision, who does he start alongside Vitinha in midfield? And who does he take out and at what time to bring in someone else? And those yeah. are the problems. I mean, I, I even feel the time that he brought Bakola on was too early for, for him because they were looking much sharper before he came on. Because all the chances that fell to him, he, he, he couldn't quite do anything with the chances. Yeah. And, and I, I don't know what he was trying to do with that force. Number. Exactly. Because neither of them, Belo and Mbappe, ever brought the centre-backs higher up there. Yep. Nobody yeah. followed them anywhere. Yep. Yeah. And you see, that's why the system didn't work because they didn't leave spaces for the wingers to attack. Yep. Asensio, Asensio tried in the first half, he filled woefully. I think Dembele and then Mbappe kept on interchanging in the second half. It did it. You, you spent more than 150 million on two strikers, Kolomwani and then Goncavo Ramos. Yeah. Play one of them. Of course. Especially when you're chasing a game. You need that anchor, that arrowhead. For Killian to be able to perform, like how you've seen him do with the likes yeah. of Giroud yeah. and even to some extent... Cavani, when he has a target man that he's playing along, at least he's able to get close to someone and engage with another player. I just feel it's a bit too easy to mark him out when you just leave him out on, on the wide areas. Atletico Madrid Dortmund, quickly on this. <laughs> Our time is up already. <laughs> Zuku match. Dortmund, what are they doing there? <laughs> <laughs> Atletico should have really taken advantage of Ideally, when that, it was 3-0, I thought it would be fine. But that goal got disallowed. And Halle brought does one back yeah. so I think it'll still be a fixture but in the end the quality will tell I think yeah. Atletico will nobody just... will watch but they should play <laughs> I think Don't Atletico I, I think Atletico still wins this though yeah does one give them yeah, a Dortmund, they're not a serious club hmm. <laughs> anyway and that's how we'll wrap up today's edition of Sports Ultras my name is Thierry and I've been here with you for Sulabi Oreku Ampofu as well as uh, Bill Ishen, the runaway Arsenal fan who just could not hide his emotions as a crybaby. We love to see it. Kelvin was a bit strong on the phone, but we all know Ninia Efik. Same time next week, we bring you another edition of Sports Ultras. My name is Theo and Thank you very much for staying with me. And, uh, you know, the rest of the team. A big thank you to the production team as well. Emmanuel Andam and Prosper Kuzo. Please have